What's cracking, guys? And here I am again with some good news, but a little bit mixed, if you know what's gonna go on with this, but still good news. And that's MiHoYo has finally listened to the fan base and has responded in kind with some rewards. But stay tuned because there's gonna be a little bit of extra drama to go about this, especially with some things going on in the Genshin community still. You know, people are still not quite happy. So they finally gave us some rewards here in the mail. This is them thanking us for sticking with it. And what they gave us is a one out of four. So there's going to be more rewards. Uh, and the first reward is being the 400 primos and this set of wings for free with these piano keys. Now the next set of rewards has also been unveiled in the Asia server. And it's a whopping, I guess, 400 primos and two fragile resin. Not quite as cool as permanent wings, but I mean, it's 120 res and you get to play the game a little bit longer, like maybe five minutes more, I don't know. I, I, maybe for a free to play or maybe like 15 minutes. So if we do the math and it's 400, 400 every time, we're gonna wind up with, well, another 10 pull uh, for this anniversary along with the login reward that you get just for logging into Genshin. So we're gonna get two 10 pulls, uh, a nice pair of wings, and uh, you know, maybe some other bits and bobs here and there too. Not too terrible rewards now. It, it's like, it's like okay. However, there has been some leaks and other things like that. People have been data mining. I'm not going to show what's been data mined because I don't want to get in trouble here. Alright, I don't want to get struck, but I'm just here to report that there is a lot of good evidence right now that these anniversary rewards were going to be a $30 bundle uh, that you got for watching the, I guess, the orchestra that they're trying to advertise within the thank you message in, you know, the rewards. So what I'm trying to say is this is looking like it was just damage control of stuff that was originally planned for you to pay for, but now it's just given to you for free. And it makes sense that it would be bundled with the concert because, well, the wings, if you don't know, they have this little piano key thing right here. So, I mean, if that doesn't tell you that it was supposed to be for the concert and a reward that it's pretty much a dead giveaway. But I suppose what's really gonna give it away if we also get the little musical harp banner to go along with it, we can't say for certain until the fourth and final day, but it's looking like they pretty much just pulled this bundle apart. It's free stuff though, so I can't complain too much. At least they're giving us something. It's a step in the right direction. But now for the thing that's really causing a lot of extra drama, and toxicity in the community is Genshin again was trending pretty heavily yesterday with over 300k tweets going about everywhere people being super upset and with the you know rewards being put out here too a lot of people talking but at the center of it all was a Kotaku article saying that the Genshin Impact players are going on a review bomb spree Stating like everyone and their grandmother that plays Genshin was going around destroying these other games that had nothing to do with it. And we all know that Kotaku here is the shining beacon of professional journalism here. I'm sure they spent more time than me looking up all the information out there. I'm, I'm definitely certain. And here they actually explain quite clearly why fans were upset. Uh, stating that a lot of rewards for the anniversary were locked behind raffles and contests. And the contest also just gave minuscule freaking primos. And a lot of this stuff only gave you 40 primos here, which is a fourth of a gotcha roll. So it's at least explained to why people were upset here. And again, going on to the fact that Mihoya was silencing, deleting threads, doing all this bad stuff. A lot of shady stuff. So like, they understood why people were getting review bombed. However, you can start saying that this is starting to get biased here when they start saying that none of these complaints had specific demands about but maybe they're just talking about the review sections in the unreleased games even though a lot of them were saying give better rewards i mean it was pretty obvious what they wanted if they're review bombing but still and here they have where all the review bombs were taking place here and we'll take a look at these real quick but it's got a bunch of games here saying that honkai impact and tears of Themis were the ones that were hit the hardest. Honkai Impact, certainly. Uh, Tears, we'll take a look at that one. And they're saying that we have a reputation for harassing parties unrelated to their discontent. 
such as how the Chinese voice actress was streaming on uh, a Chinese, I, I think Billy Billy or something like that. I'm not exactly certain the service, but they were streaming and basically people harassing Kokomi for being trash. That was again Chinese players, not really the US or other people like us. And she restricted her live stream because of the harassment. And again, still kind of true because there's still toxicity within the English as well. No one's squeaky clean given how, you know, the Genshin community also attacked the live stream for like revealing of what's upcoming in patches, the voice actors for a terrible live stream. So again, like nobody's squeaky clean. Basically put, it was a hit piece on Genshin fans. Whether or not it was paid off by MiHoYo or whatever, who can say? All that we know is it's, it's basically a PR swing to try and get the heat off of MiHoYo for being such absolutely dumbasses. Just very stupid with the rewards, pissing off the community, crapping on artists, the people who made the community what it is today. But now we're gonna go take a look at some of the reviews that were supposedly review bombed. And I took a look at these yesterday on stream, and I can tell you right now, there wasn't a lot of people there. The big one here that was hit was Google Classroom, apparently, because it was trending on Twitter where people were getting upset about this. This was... This was like one of the most absurd ones. But you also have to keep in mind that Google Classrooms is a learning thing and a lot of students don't like learning so a lot of people are review bomb it. So the 3.1 score is mostly from students that hate learning. Anyway, after the meme uh, passed, here are some of the new ones. Here is one review that pertains to it. Here's another one that's also upvoted here. You can see that this is probably people memeing at this point here. The animation reviews are bad, I blame it on Google Classroom. Again, after the article was published here and other things going down, people are coming here to troll. This is all afterwards and, you know, people are freaking trolls on the internet. I mean, this right here, I blame Google Classrooms for all of my sadness. Again, this is all just trolls, people probably not even with Genshin. Because Genshin for some reason, again, you can see these are just trolls. I don't I don't think you can count this in anymore. I think this is just internet trolls. Again, making my point home here, I want primo slash jokes upvoted. Yep. It's unfortunate, but I think Google Classrooms was just a meme. I can't take this one seriously because this isn't even Genshin fans at this point. This is just internet trolls. So let's take a look at some of the other games that they said were hit, such as Clash of Clans. Has a score of 4.5, that looks pretty good to me. Uh, I don't see any review bombs that could possibly even affect this. Scoring through this, I cannot even see one that's, oh, sorry Clash of Clans, but Geshin Rewards is bad. Okay, uh, looks like there's one person still memeing in here. Six upvotes on this, so you can tell that there's six people sp specifically looking through these reviews just to do this. There's a group of people that are doing this. Here's another one that's singled out. You could single them out because they have upvotes on them. You could tell that there's people specifically trolling because of these upvotes. And after scrolling through a lot here, uh, you could tell another highly upvoted one here that's just out of the blue is this one right here. Again, eight. Just on this specific one alone. So weird. Not to say that all upvote ones are, you know, bad. Like, bring, bla uh, bring back global chat. See, like, there's some out here that people have some things that they actually want to say. But overall, after looking through a lot of these, especially on the 29th when the review bombing should have been happening here, where it was all just going through its phases, and I don't really see any. Like, honestly, they might have just been deleted or something or whatnot, but I don't, I don't see any. Honestly, when I w went through the other day too, I think I maybe found three, four, five at the most. The same goes with every single game on that list. Except for Honkai Impact, obviously. But the Tears of Thermos, also developed by MiHoYo, that one is interesting because there wasn't a lot of review bombing on that one. That game still stands at a pretty good score here. 4.6 out of 5. Considering how easy it would be to review, considering just there's no people that actually left reviews on this, the Getch community could have completely eclipsed this and gave it a horrific score if they were really back in this. But it's still pretty good. The fact that I can actually scroll down and still go to the easily to the 29th comments here, where there actually was some stuff here, but um, no, there's actually like some legit things of people complaining about the game here. These are actually just legit reviews. Not about Genshin, but just about the game.
Maybe that one there. And I'm already at the 28th here. Like, thanks for the 60 primos, and there's a 5 upvote there. But, I mean, that's about it. Can you really say that one was hit the hardest? When there's only like... Three, four, five review bombs on that? You cannot say it's the Genshin community when the community is only five-ish or so trolls. Again, this is just me saying that that was probably a hit piece. But still, for the record, I am going to state that we as fans should not attack people that are unrelated to what's going on regardless. I still think that's dumb. Do not go after things that have no relation to the company that you have beef with. Especially like the voice actors of the characters. They're only there just to voice act the characters, make a living, and have some fun. They don't control the inner workings of this billion dollar company. So needless to say, a lot of this leaves a sour taste in my mouth with all these rewards and stuff going on. I mean, yeah, the reward is there. I'm glad that they're responding. I'm glad that they're not staying silent. But it was ripped from a thing that they were going to charge 30 bucks from to begin with, most likely. And that's... And then on top of it, these websites out there that are obviously completely biased, trying to spin the tail to make MiHoYo like this nice company when they're obviously not. Saying that fans shouldn't even be asking for rewards just, just to get nothing and be happy with it. I like, I don't know. I don't know. We should be happy that MiHoYo retweeted our artwork that we spent hours on and gave us only a pitiful amount of gems for a contest. Not even a poll's worth. I think there's limits. But man, the drama certainly is interesting what's going on here. Um, but I, I gotta hand it to it. That article definitely spun things around. And, you know, Twitter was getting outraged because they just see what's on the surface. They don't actually see the truth. They don't bother to go around and see what's really going on. And yes, I realize that a lot of the negative views could have been deleted too. The ones that were trolling. Certainly, but to see only around four or five ish that remain each time like I Don't know. I th I should have been seeing a lot more than just that if it was truly review bombed because if it was review bombed You would have see what happened to Genshin impact score which tanked and plummeted regardless though I'd love to hear your guys's thoughts and opinions on all this. Did I miss some research? Is there's more things that I don't know about please Put it forward. There's always some more things that could be happening. Are you happy with the rewards too? Maybe now, maybe now we're pleased. I, I don't know. I have such mixed feelings. I guess we'll just see the full story at the end of the four out of four rewards. And then maybe we can see what's going on. But I still have plenty of other videos that I want to do. Maybe checking out the ripoff Genshin game. Maybe there's going to be some more drama that happens to fall into my lap just after this video. I don't know. But for now, thanks so much for watching. And I'll see you beautiful sons of guns again next time.